Hi, this is Spencer Colgan. Welcome to my Wallpaper TV on YouTube. I have a tip for you today with a special wallpaper that's growing very popular these days. And it's wallpaper that has glass beads in it. Let me grab a sample for you. This wallpaper and this particular design is very popular. Uh, you can see it in the background. But if you look closely, you can see the little glass bead. See that? And it actually looks like sugar-coated candy. <clears throat> and those glass beads are vulnerable during the installation. And so I did a video on this particular installation in the past. Uh, and so now I just want to show you another tip when you're working your seams. The one of the tips I gave you was to roll your seams with a seam roller, but cleaning it off as it rolled. And so you would have to hold the rag over and touching the roller as it did its work. And I suggested that you go in one direction so that you don't trap these beads underneath the roller and then impress them onto your wall covering, making scratches and and dents in the surface of it and they don't come out. <clears throat> so that's one thing. So just look on the tip of that, you'll see the little glass bead stuck on that, right? So you have to compensate with a procedure that eliminates that effect, but you still have to use something like this to get those seams to, to lay down. And so I suggested that you roll it up, pressing hard on the wall covering, but catching all of the beads like this. So that was one tip. <clears throat> But then you might have a situation where you need a little more aggression. And in that case, I want to show you what I would do if I were you. And it's working for me, and so I share it with you. John, would you just hold this? Oh no, you're cutting. So we'll just have a little demo for them. So let's take them to this seam here. It's gone, it's on. If you just take us to the seam. I have a very clean, wet rag here. So this seam has already worked, but this is how I do it. I hold the rag over there, and I just simply do this. It's, it's taking the place of the, ro of the roller. Now, if that sounds silly to you, that's the only way you're going to... What are you really doing when you're pressing on the wool covering? Because you have a thin layer of glue underneath the wallpaper, and because the seams are the only place that can make your wallpaper look really bad if it doesn't match up, and that would be affected by the glue underneath, that is the only place I would suggest that you do it, since you want to make the seams meet. And you just do a steady tapping on the wall covering. You can see how beautiful it makes the lines meet up there. And that's it. That's your tip, and uh, this is very popular. If you have this and you've tried to install it and then you've had a problem because of these glass beads, don't despair. I think I'll name this video Glass Beads because that's the name of those little things that are driving everybody crazy that install it. By the way, I did happen to call the company uh, on this particular wall covering, and I told them about the obvious problem. As an installer, you anticipate the different problems that may occur as a result of installing a wallpaper. For example, if you have a highly pigmented wall covering, such as something very green or very dark, something that's black, the first thing an, ins an experienced installer is going to do, if there's a sample around, is take a wet rag and make some friction on the paper so to see, to test the color and to see its tolerance level. And if, it, if you look at your rag and you have a black rag, you don't install it because once you put that up and that color comes off onto your rag, you're the bad guy. So that's when I tell people, this is not practical wall covering. It doesn't happen that often, but it does happen. This is another issue, so I called them. Now this wall covering is about $400 a roll, okay, $400 for barely three sheets of wallpaper. So I said, the I sent them an email, you can't even call them. And I said, I need, I need your glass beads. I need 
I'm assuming they had a reserve of, of glass beads in a, in a bag they could send me and I would, I would simply, you know, like an artist, you put them back on in the places where these come off. Because they come off, they're on the wall covering, they're falling as, as you pull it open, which is what I demonstrated when I opened up this job on YouTube and I, and I showed you how the beads come off and what you have to do in order not to get them underneath the wall covering when you install it. So they said, yeah, it's really delicate stuff and we suggest that you buy another roll so that you can have more beads. That's what they told me. And what is the name of this company? Fifth and Foster. Fifth and Foster. And I told them, thanks for telling me that. I'm going to put that on my website. So if you have occasion to buy Fifth and Foster, you're the consumer, I'm the hanger. They will listen to you before they listen to me. You tell them that you need the beads, that you need an extra set of beads, just in case they go bald. After the installer's done, if you should have children around that are touching this stuff, these beads are gonna fall, and over time, it's gonna create a bald spot in the area where it's frequently touched. Even if you rub it with a rag too hard, these beads dislodge, and then you have a bald spot on the wall covering. So now I have to compensate by collecting the beads and uh, artistically putting them back in place with a little adhesive, no problem because enough of them fall off when you unravel this wall covering. But if you buy it, you make sure you let them know. I'll buy it, but I have to get an extra uh, supply of beads for this wall covering because I'm not buying anymore. This is Spencer Colgan. I gave you two tips on how to set your seams down by tapping on it with a wet, clean rag. You gotta have a lot of cushion there. You don't wanna, this paper would not tear. It's too good to be tearing. But if you do it with cheap paper, you can tear it just by doing that. And so the second thing is, if you buy this from Fifth and Foster, let them know you need extra beads. If you need wool covering for the greatest selections, the widest selections and the greatest deals, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com, visit us on the web, www.spencercolgan.com, ask, ask a question, we will have it answered usually within 48 hours of having posted the question. Let us know what you think. Share us your information where you do your installations, professional or amateur, no problem. We share information, we learn from each other. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, and remember one thing, I always tell people, quality is not, a, quality is not expensive, it's actually priceless. Thanks a lot, see you on the next one.